Drug money doesn't last. I mean, it's going to stop eventually. I mean, you can have all the money in the world. I mean, be surrounded in $50,000 and you end up le being left with nothing. I mean, I've got nothing to show. I felt really good about myself because I was successful, I guess, at a young age. And I ended up going out with the car dealer and um, entering into a whole new life, I suppose, with money and, and that sort of thing. I was only here for a couple of days, but I, I probably spent about 500 bucks on that occasion, just, yeah, smoking, smoking pee. Yeah, but it felt, felt great. That's why when I went back to Australia and I met this guy, that's why I asked him, you know, just wanted that feeling again, eh? I got into it very deep, very fast, and my money slowly de depleted during the, that time. And then after a while, I found that I was working for the drug. Over a week, calculating in your head, yeah, I'll give away five or ten, I'll swallow this and that, I'll make money on that. And da, 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 and got to the end of the week and I was a thousand bucks down, fifteen hundred bucks down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just everything was all the time. You know, we didn't have time to do family things or anything like that, but I always wanted those things. And in the last month, John said, you know, I can't be bothered, I don't want to do it anymore. And I said, yeah, but we need the money, and how are we going to do it? You know, we can't survive, we can't live. I've got heaps of debt, you know, taking up heaps of TVs and all that sort of stuff. So so what I wanted to do for her um, was I found her another place to live in, in a different part of town and paid the bond. Um, by the way, during all this time, she we were having to pay her rent because her landlord would say she hasn't paid her rent. So it, we, were, we were forking over hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you know, because we wanted to keep her near us. Baby trying to feed, no food in the fridges, no money to pay the rent, no nothing depended on her, you know, her DPB, you know, ripping the system off, all of that stuff, you know. Money started to run out because I couldn't focus on the business as much as I needed to um, because of my tiredness and grumpiness and everything else. So the level of income I received wasn't as high. So again, I paid all my bills but um, I'd be really scratching to pay them on time. I'd start to have, um, like the power got disconnected once, all that sort of thing, which was just terrible for me to go from up here just down to there. A couple of times I spent a couple of hundred dollars and I would get crap. And it's just like, well, that's a waste of money. I could have spent that money on something good. I spent thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, I could have spared myself and more significantly, my family and friends a lot of grief. Yeah, and a lot of wastes and you know, you know, I'm 61 years old. I own, you know, I've owned houses and all that stuff. I have, don't have any of that anymore, but at least I'm clean. I'd rather have no money and be like this. Yeah, money's not worth it.